taking on the New York Jets. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the New York Jets. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that... Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be led out by a man making a remarkable return to the football field. It is Alex Smith. Remember when we were kids and they all said, hey, whatever you want to do, make your kid a left-handed pitcher, make them play baseball, they'll play forever. Forget that. I want a quarterback. All right? That's what I want to raise. In this era where you throw it around like crazy, you put up numbers like he did in his last game. Last week, almost 500 yards. Crowder's got it over the middle. Complete to Jamison. The numbers for Crowder a week ago, he was pretty prophetic. He said before that game, I want to get in the end zone often. He got there three times. Yeah, it's one thing to catch a lot of footballs. That is important, but it's what you do after the catch that can make you great. And he had a great game last week. On first down, it's Smith. He's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Smith. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Darius Leonard, the linebacker, able to break that one up. Brings up second and 10. On second down now. It's Coleman. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. And it's out of the gun, Smith. Jordan Reed has it. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. And he winds up getting only a couple there. Down to the 29. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. To throw is Smith. He finds Corey Davis. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 18. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. New York. Smith now to throw. He'll drop this down to Coleman. That catch good for only a couple. 
So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Well, that's a great, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force him. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Corey Davis, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Well, these guys scored touchdown after touchdown in that win a week ago. So how do they come out this week? Same way. They've got that momentum going, a touchdown on the opening drive. I think it's safe to say that they're in a groove, isn't it? I mean, a lot of times we've seen where teams have scored a ton of points the week before. The very next week, struggle to score almost as if they used it all up. Not in this case. This group appears locked in. We're going to have to make some adjustments if you're on the other side of that football. Gonzalez good on the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Rodgers on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. At a glance at the man under center at 6'5", he always demands attention. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on a few other parts of the offense and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. Now the first carry from Marlon Mack. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Good pickup there by Marlon Mack, and he was a 1,000-yard runner in 2019, and has been very consistent in moving the ball for the Colts. Last two seasons, at least eight touchdowns rushing each year. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Mack. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Back, the ball carrier. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. A gain of nine brings up third and one. They'll try and run for this with Mack. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. They'll look to throw here. He's got Jack Doyle. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. At the 39-yard line. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he stopped immediately there. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. No gain on the play. Brings up third and on third down, a run by Mack. And a great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. On first down, they'll stay with Mack on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Here we go. 
second and 11 now. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Gets this one to Hill. The reception good for seven. It's third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Left side, Doyle with it. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. They'll run for it. It's Mack. And he works free. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Marlon Mack, 27 yards. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the end result was a Marlon Mack touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 here as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result that he opted for the touchback. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Second and nine. The 25 yard line. These two teams all tied after one. With the score tied 7 to 7. On second and nine, Smith, the throw taken in by Cole. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That catch good for five. It's third down. Pickup on the play. And it's from the gun. Here's Smith. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Forrest Buckner. Sacked there by DeForest Buckner. Boy, was he big news around the draft in 2020 when the Colts traded their 13th overall pick for him. He absolutely solidifies their defensive front. Great interior pressure that they haven't been able to exhibit in recent seasons. On fourth down, rookie Braden Mann will punt for the Jets. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And take it right at the 35. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense. who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. 
Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. They're going to look to throw. Middle of the field to the tight end, Doyle. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second and four. He completes this one to Mack. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's a gain of three. It's third and one. On third down, it's Mack. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. That's good. Brock Holtz. I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out in a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. Got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Marcus Joyner there defensively. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, his second touchdown on the season. And the Colts have taken the lead. on for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drives seven plays in length. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 20. And New York set to take the field. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by 7. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Now this one complete to Corey Davis. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. He was brought down by Tavon Wilson. A gain of seven. First down, Jets. On first down, Smith. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. DeForest Buckner able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to stay in the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly? Yeah. Meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them. They were on him in a hurry.
So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. On the draw play, Coleman. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. He was brought down at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And a good result there as that'll get out of bounds and pin them back at their 10-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And they'll start on the ground with Hines. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. First down with Marlon Mack. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Marlon Mack. No gain on the play there. Second down. Ashman on the tackle. No gain on the play. Second Back to throw now on second and ten. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Back to throw. That's pulled in by the rookie from USC, Michael Pittman. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now this is Hilton on the receiving end. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards to pick up, first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Incomplete. It's second down and 10. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Five yards, now it's third and five. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He is going to find Hill here. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. 
They'll look to throw now on first down. This goes underneath to Doyle, and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Marcus Joyner there defensively. Back to throw again. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Reception there by T.Y. Hilton. He absolutely terrifies defenses when he gets downfield. Speed, shiftiness, excellent hands. Five 1,000-yard seasons in his career. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Rodrigo Blankenship for the Colts field goal. From the left hash, this from 34. Blankenship's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Colts 17, Jets 7. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Smith on first down. This one caught by Davis. Now whistles in a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. The final shot here before break. Smith, he'll let this go for the end zone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. And welcome in, everybody, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Time for a look around the NFL here in week three of the new year. We'll start out west at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson. And it's the Panthers who are out in front. Teddy Bridgewater with a touchdown pass. Next, we'll head over to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting San Francisco 49ers. 31-14, the final. Finally, let's get to the desert. Let's check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Lions. A.J. Green. A touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half, we're ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First and 10 at their own 20. So here are the Colts to take over. Trying to erase the memory of last week when they dropped one to the Minnesota Vikings. They're in the driver's seat right now with the lead. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Incomplete. Makes it second and 10 at the 23-yard line. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. The quarterback sack. 
They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Jets will take over first and ten. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And, Charles, they trail by a couple of scores, but if they could put a good drive together here, it'd go a long way toward getting them back in this football game. And if you're looking at a checklist of things that they need to do in the second half, job number one was getting a stop, wasn't it? So big check right there. Now they want to see if their offense can build on that momentum. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. So that'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Sometimes that's a danger putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You can wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. Still just a third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Here we go on fourth. Smith, and he's got a man, Corey Davis. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Corey Davis, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Jets are able to make this a close game again. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Zingo. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And Rodgers will hold on to this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. The pass. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. That catch good for only a couple. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Here's Marlon Mack. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. A gain of two. They keep it on the ground. Mack again. Marlon Mack, the ball carrier. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. 
And he is going to have a Colts first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They run the draw play with Mack. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Seven-yard line. One-yard gain. Brings up second and... Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Nothing fancy really on either side. They were just trying to punch it between the tackles but could not get it done. That felt very old schoolish, didn't it? Because we always talk about how we spread it out on offense nowadays and try and create some running lanes. That one was really tight. Go get it. A big pile of bodies didn't quite get there. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. They want to be methodical, or they want to take the big strike and go after it right now. Now a pass taken in by the tight end Herndon. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. To throw again on second down, Smith, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Xavier Rhodes on the coverage. To throw on third down. Smith. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And they'll get him down here at the 23. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do... They'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on him man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Marlon Mack now heading back out there. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how, their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half, it gets ugly in the second half. They come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They'll run it. It's Mack. 
And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's got Jack Doyle. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. In on the tackle, Kamoko Ture. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll break the huddle, send three receivers left, one to the right on second and five. From the gun, here's Smith. And a big loss here as he's taken down. A 15-yard loss. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. The Jets on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and forever. gun Smith the throw taken in by Cole and he'll only get this to the 17 well shy of what he needed it's a gain of 11 but they're still well short it's fourth down one hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches I think we just saw that on display right there got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield Here's the Jets punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Take it at the 37. Just a net of 34 there, following a punt of 44 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they've made some good adjustments, though. He's fallen off since. Have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? And rocking and rolling. They came out and made their adjustments, got their confidence back. Now they're causing them all sorts of trouble. His throw incomplete. The Colts on third down. They've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and ten. There defensively. Left side, Doyle with it. 
And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. They get seven there, but it brings up four. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. New York ready to go again offensively. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and 10. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They will run again with Coleman. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Second down and three. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. A two-yard pickup brings up third and one. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The quarterback taken down. And well, they only had a yard to go. They try to pass the football. Oh, Defense nine. blitz. Defense got there. Yeah, I think on this one, this is probably good scouting. Understanding a few tendencies and figuring out that, hey, they may take a shot. And he dialed up the pressure and got to him. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Four yards on the pickup. Out to the left here to Reed. 
And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, New York. Smith on the screen. This is Coleman. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Well, that last pass, CD, he just added another notch to the old belt. What a career it's been. He's over 35,000 career passing yards now. And when you say that number, over 35,000 yards, how many people have done that prior to him? Right around 30. Boy, that's a pretty good number. Now, now you're into a membership that means you've done a heck of a job in this league. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. That's Darius Leonard, the linebacker who got in and got him to the turf. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Intended for Tevin Coleman, incomplete. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Here's the Jets punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Indy set to go on offense once more. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. They'll go again here with Mack. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now Mack, a pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up Ford. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. So the Jets now down by a field goal just over a minute 40 to play and they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and ten now it's smith 
over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was hoping to get that one to Tevin Coleman in space. That'll bring up second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Smith. Looking sideline, incomplete. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Third down. And finding Keelan Cole. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Incomplete. Leads to second and ten. Now Smith. 35-yard line. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Getting in there to break that one up. Rocky Sin. Third down. They'll look to throw. Yards to go. The throw to the left side caught by Coleman. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And he'll be taken down, but first he gets deep into Indianapolis territory. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Smith now to throw. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Gonzalez to add the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends with a jet touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own. Now it's the Colts' turn, trailing by four, 45 seconds remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead, but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. He's back to throw. Campbell making the catch. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Back to throw. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. They'll look to throw again. And nearly intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to let it fly. 
And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And they will take a knee here. Today. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So for the Jets, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one.